my channel. So I'm here today at the Mums Enterprise Roadshow. So I've come to check out you know, what's going on. So it's a big event in Manchester, an event city, and it's designed to kind of to talk to mums about kind of their working options. So to inspire them, to tell them kind of what kind of things are on offer, to talk about flexible working, and um, to talk about working for yourself, being an entrepreneur, and all those kind of things. So it's a really interesting event. There's loads of different brands here. You get an amazing looking handbook when you join as well. You know, lots of information about all the different people. So I'll just show you that. That is, that is one quality guys there. Uh, so yeah, it's, I've just, we just arrived. I'm just going to show you a little bit around there. So I'm going to go around all the different stall holders, have a little chat with them, see why they're here, what kind of things are going on. And I'm really looking forward to getting stuck in. So I'll report back soon. So I'm just in one of the um, workshop areas and then we're about to see a little talk by a lady called Danusha. Show you there in case I get the name wrong. Uh, but so she's so just read a bit of that information. She's a transformative expert and serial entrepreneur. She's the founder of something called the School for Mothers. Uh, and she's a writer, keynote speaker. This is the best of it. She has got ten children. Her last baby was triplets. So when you think you're doing too much and you think you haven't got enough time, now we've got to look at the mission that I'm just going to show us how you do everything. Amazing. I ought to mention is that I've got ten children and I, uh, my last child, my last baby, turned out to be triplets and they're five years old. So I really do know what I'm talking about when I'm combining motherhood and work. 13,753 days of motherhood. That's a lot of mothering. Denisha's talk was really, really interesting and um, kind of the main things that I've kind of picked up from that is a lot of the time the mothers need to be kind of need to be ignoring what we think is normal. So basically there's no normal for working mothers. There's no kind of one best practice that's going to work for everybody. So we need to kind of think creatively and kind of think of creative solutions to our problems. And a lot of the time it can be just kind of the mindset that's holding us back. So we're thinking, oh, well, so-and-so does that, and I want to go do it like that, and that's how it's then. But actually, we need to kind of dig deep in ourselves and think, okay, how do we want to kind of live, and how do we want to work, and what's going to work for us? And then we need to kind of think really creative and go, okay, well, how can I make that happen? How can I make that work? What kind of things are going to work for me? And it might be a case of you to change your career, or kind of repackage the skills that you already have and kind of work with those. But, you know, for everybody, so I think it was a really, it was a really good talk and it was really inspiring. I actually wanted to hear more, but I, I could have stayed in the book of hours to listen to. And a really funny moment was at the end, there was a few questions, and then one little boy managed to take down like, the whole room audience by just so sweetly asking how he can support his mum with their own businesses. It's making me water up, tear up and stuff. But yeah, just asking how he can help support his mum set up her own business and oh it was so lovely. Denisha was like, oh as well. So it was a sweet moment at the end. But yeah, really interesting. Um, I'm gonna go to um, a workshop about networking now. So that should be interesting and I'll tell you a little bit more how that goes. I just wanted to show you this as well. So this is the story stage and it's hosted by our kids which is like a really popular um, shop and creative space in Manchester and I just think they're doing a really good concept here so at the story stage it's got like an open mic session so there's a few sessions which are open mic so anybody kind of in the audience can come and share their story about what's working for them that kind of thing and then there are a few kind of up, up and running businesses as well so mum entrepreneurs, makers, those kind of things and they're doing their stories too I just thought the open mic concept the mum's going to show them their stories. Like, that's a really great concept. I'm going to pinch that on one of my events that I do sometimes. But yeah, a really good show. So I definitely recommend to go with. The next one that they've got is in London. So it's going to be a lot bigger. And that's over two days. So that's a Friday and a Saturday. I think it's the 28th. Yeah, Friday the 28th and then 29th of September. So 
you know if you can go down to that kind of have a look see what kind of things people are doing what they're talking about they're offering go see the workshops as well you know see the speakers i find it's really useful to go see the speakers at these things you always get a lot out of it and if you can find like a little speed networking thing give it a try i know it's a bit nerve-wracking at first uh, but it's definitely worthwhile doing i did my bit and i kind of stood up and i'm charlotte and i'm from channel mum and did all my spiel so everybody was in that bit there knows the way i am now so yeah definitely recommend it and go along have a look at their website and yeah if you subscribe to my channel yet just press the button and the notifications bell and i'll see you next time thanks for